Hi, I'm Stuart from Black Magic Design. I'm here at NAB 2024, and I'm going to talk to you about our new Ursa Cine 12K. The Ursa Cine 12K is a camera that really is something we've been aspiring to over the course of the last few years. We've delved through a number of different camera ranges, and we've introduced 12K sensor technology previously before. But with this, what we really did was take a step back and we started to look at how can we deliver the ultimate camera? How can we deliver something that is way beyond our dreams? So when you start that process, you look at all different aspects of what is needed in a high-end feature film environment. We're talking about high dynamic range, 16 stops. We're talking about high resolution, 12K. We're talking about advanced connectivity, 12 gig SDI outputs, 10 gig ethernet out outputs. We're talking about different riggable options, USB-C connectivity. We're talking about high-speed media, custom-built media modules using, um, using M.2 cards. We're talking about multiple monitors, both for um, the, assisting, the assisting DOP. Um, we're talking about backlit buttons. This camera has everything. This, this camera is really stretching the capability. And the most important thing of all, is this is delivering Blackmagic's best ever picture quality. It certainly is a camera that is delivering high resolution at high frame rates. Um, previously, we've talked about frame rates of, you know, maybe 30, 60, um, 100, frame rate, 100 frames per second, but with this camera, we can go even further. At 12K, we're doing 80 frames per second. At 8K and 4K, we're doing 224 frames per second. And this is all because of the fact that we're able to um, acquire that onto our media super fast. The media module that actually exists in there allows us to read those, um, re read those frames um, you know, faster than any other camera that we've had before. And at the same time, we're really working with a brand new sensor that is able to deliver it the highest quality. So you're getting high, high resolution, high frame rates, and you're also using that within our raw codec. When you start to look at lens mounts and you're looking certainly in that high-end feature film world, what you need to do is give options. This camera actually has a PL lens mount as a standard, which means that when you buy the camera, the PL lens mount is already attached to the body. But in that flight case that you get when you buy it, you also get an EF mount. Additionally, if you want an LPL mount, you can also buy that separately. But the main benefit with this lens mount is that it's actually user changeable. All of the lens mounts that you actually get are pre-shimmed, which means that just simply disconnecting the front, from the front of the lens mount from the turret allows you to remove one lens mount and replace that with the second lens mount, which means that there's no reshimming required. All of that is done. All of those are electrified, which means that as well, when you're putting on um, those PL lenses and you're putting on those active LPL lenses, you can actually control the focus from the side of the camera directly through the five-inch monitor. So this camera has a significantly larger sensor than any of our other cameras before. This sensor is probably around about a third bigger than our existing 12K sensor. It's important also to mention that with this camera as a standard, it's OLPF, which means that there's an optical low pass filter which is actually built in. The increased photo sites on this means that things like rolling shutter become less of a problem for us. We've got extra detail in that sensor. It means that the image that we're actually acquiring is going, to be, um, is going to be much more deeper in terms of the way in which that resolution looks and the way in which the quality of that image looks. That increased dynamic range of 16 stops is the biggest um, amount of, or the largest amount of dynamic range that we've ever produced in a single camera. So with a larger sensor, with greater formats, with an increased number of um, dynamic range, this really is going to deliver a high-end feature film quality image. So when you actually buy this camera, it comes with an eight terabyte media module. Inside that media module are M2, M.2 cards, which means that you're getting super fast storage media on there. On the back of the camera, there's actually a 10G ethernet connection, which means that you don't actually have to go and buy the media dock to go and mount those media modules to off offload that footage. What you could actually do is connect a 10 gig ethernet connection to the back of the camera and actually take that footage directly over 10 gig ethernet. At the same time, the actual speed of this means that you can actually acquire and offload at the same time if you wanted. Um, as we step forward and we move forward, one of the things that we're actually showing at, at uh, NAB 2024 
is also a module that allows you to put CFast, uh, sorry, CF Express cards in there. This is something that we've not yet priced up and is not yet really familiar in terms of we're not out there promoting it, but you can see a direction that we're going to offer other solutions there for media. Clearly there's a number of USB-C connections on this units as well, which means that the Ursa Cine 12K also allows you, or will allow you to offboard that media to an external drive. You'll notice as well on top of the camera there's also a Wi-Fi connection, that's a 6 gig Wi-Fi connection. Our aim is that anybody working within a cloud workflow or wanting to offload over Wi-Fi can also do that as well. So whether it's live or whether it's post-recording, we're given a number of different options for the user to be able to get their media off the camera. So typically within a Cine environment, there are multiple people stood around the camera. So at its most simplistic form, on the left-hand side of the camera, you can see all of your menus. This is um, all of the important information in terms of the recording of, the, of what it is that you're acquiring. But when you actually open that door, you get access to the five inch monitor that most people are familiar with, with our typical um, Ursa Mini Pro range. One benefit of this is that this now articulates all the way around, which is something that has been request requested from us before, is something that people have asked for, and something that we wanted to incorporate into this design. The thing that is maybe new to some people, but people will remember from the original Ursa camera, is that we actually now have the assist station. The assist station sits on the opposite side of the camera, the right hand side, and this allows you to access different features and functions within the camera, separate to those that are being used on the other side. This also means that because you're taking electrical data from the lenses in terms of the PL and, um, and the LPL mounts, you can actually adjust focus from this side which means that you can compl stay completely independent of what's going on on the other side. So you've got two five inch monitors, you've got the external monitor that sits outside the body of the camera on this side. Um, and then obviously as well, if you wanted to take an off-board monitor as well, you've got that 12 gig SDI connection there, which means that you can actually take something to either a DIT car or to a separate high resolution monitor um, located further away from the DOP. So we're trying to cover all bases with every part of monitoring with this camera. So the Ursa Cine 12K comes with an 8-pin LIMO uh, 24 and 12-volt power connection. Um, also comes with a B-mount battery um, mount, which means that we can use B-mount batteries to power the functionality of the camera, plus in addition to that as well, we also have a LIMO and Fisher connector that can, that can power lenses. This means that there's a huge amount of um, control when it comes to powering all aspects of what's required within a cinema camera. Um, this comes with a 240 volt um, power supply, which um, actually comes with the package. And as I said before, that beam mount also is part of the original package when you buy the camera. The Ursa Cine 12K will start shipping after NAB. That's gonna be 14,995. That comes with the beam mount battery mount. It comes with the shoulder mount accessory and the, and the rod accessory. Um, it also comes with a PL lens mount, and it also comes with a separate EF mount as well. Along with that as well, we're also supplying the 8 terabyte media module. For slightly more, for just over $16,000, we're also including a package that includes the brand new viewfinder. Both of these come in standard custom-built Peli cases, which means that you can transport the new camera um, very, very simply and in a, prote in a protected enclosure. The smaller of the two, um, which is the um, 14,995, is in a pellet case big enough to put in an overhead locker. And if you wanted to go with the EVF, that comes with a separate, slightly larger pellet case as well.